What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel once again and I hope you're all doing great. And in this episode, I'm going to review not one, not two, not three, but five fragrances from the house of Paris Corner. As you already know, Paris Corner have recently launched a new line of fragrances called Emir. And last week, I have reviewed two fragrances from their Vibrant collection. Vibrant collection are clones of Barilo fragrances. And today, we are going to review these five fragrances. And all these five fragrances are clones of Mancera fragrances. So let's start our review. And first of all, we are going to discuss about the scent profile. I will try to give you a brief description about the fragrances. And then in the end, we will talk about other aspects of these fragrances like performance, gender, and other things. I would like to start from Wild and Tobacco. So let me show you the presentation first. The boxes and designs for all these five fragrances are same. The only difference will be the colors. So let's start with Wild and Tobacco. So you will get this fragrance in this box. And this is a decent looking box. Even the quality of the paper and the finishing is nice. Here on the front face, you will find the logo of Emir and the name of your fragrance here, which is Wild and Tobacco in this case. And here in the bottom, you will find Nord's Breakdown. And then on the both sides, you will find the logo of Emir, but embossed. And then on the top of the box, once again, you will find the logo of Emir printed in gold. And then in the back, you will find the logo of Paris Corner, some ingredient details. And in the bottom, you will find batch number and this barcode. So this is a box and now let me show you the bottle and bottles are really beautiful and here we go this bottle is really heavy i think it's minimum 700 to 800 grams or maybe uh, one kg in weight you will find a thick glass base and then see this beautiful color gradient it's going from transparent red to opaque black and then here you will find this beautiful uh, golden uh, stair kind of design here and here this part is made of metal and the cap the cap is so heavy and the cap is a mix of plastic and metal and then here on the atomizer you will find some detailing of Paris corner and in the front of the portal you will find the name of the fragrance and the logo of Emir on this metallic plate the finishing the quality of this bottle is top notch and then here on the top of the cap you will find the logo of emir printed once again the quality and finish of these bottles are outclass and the design is copied from boucheron fragrances so this was the presentation and now let's talk about the scent let me spray it on a plotter paper and let me show you the atomizer so there you go and so here in this case, Wild and Tobacco is a clone of Mancera's Red Tobacco. And if you remember, Paris Corner have already made a clone of Mancera's Red Tobacco in their Pandora Scents line with the name of Tobacco Rouge. Now the question is, are these both fragrances similar? No. Wild and Tobacco is, you can say, a much improved version of uh, Tobacco Rouge. Tobacco Rouge is a uh, little bit uh, sweeter and less complex as compared to wild and tobacco and if we will try to compare it with original red tobacco i can say uh, wild and tobacco is almost 75 to 80 percent similar uh, uh, with the original so this was wild and tobacco a clone of mancera's red tobacco and now let's jump to the next fragrance and here we have Oud and Veni and you will get this fragrance in this box, design, pattern, everything is same, the only difference is the color. So here you will find the name of your fragrance, Oud Veni and in this case, this is a combination of black and brown color. And now let me show you the bottle and once again, the presentation is same, the only difference is color. So here, Oud and Veni is a cologne of Mancera's Oud Veni, which is very obvious from the name and it's not hard to guess. And as you can see from the name, this fragrance is 
a combo of oud and vanilla and along with oud and vanilla you will get some saffron some pepperiness some florals and some sandalwood in the base so this was about oud and vanilla and now how close is this to the original manseras oud vanilla so i haven't tried manseras oud vanilla until now so i cannot compare it to be very fair but as a fragrance this is very nice and at number 3 i have my favorite and here we are talking about vanilla and roses and you will get this fragrance in this box once again design and everything is same the difference is the colors so here this is white and pink and now let me show you the bottle and here we go such a beautiful bottle in this case there is no gradient but the glass is frosted and now let's talk about the fragrance so vanilla and roses is a cologne of manseras roses vanilla and as you can guess from the name this is a combo of roses and vanilla so you will get some roses with little bit of sweet vanilla and that special manseras candelicious dna which they mostly use Uh, in their female fragrances in their sweet fragrances uh, this dna smells sugary like if you uh, burn the sugar uh, not fully burn like half burnt sugar this candy kind of vibe you will get here along with uh, some musky and uh, woody base i really love this fragrance though this fragrance falls in uh, women's category but for me it's more like a unisex scent and trust me some men can also wear it especially young people they can rock it easily and obviously for the girls this is something very special and now how similar is this to the original so here i got a decant of the original manseras uh, roses vanny and i got this decant from one of my very good friend mr sharukh and by comparing both of these sides by side i can tell you this is 90 to 95% similar to the original the only difference is that the original got a little bit more depth and it's a little bit more strong and more long lasting and these aspects we will discuss in the end of the video but for the similarity 90 to 95% after 5 minutes of spraying both of these fragrances uh you will not be able to pick the differences except the depth here in mensera you will get a little bit better depth a little bit a uh, better character but the price difference is huge so here you are going to lose nothing so a beautiful scent vanilla and roses from emir paris corner and now let's jump to the next fragrance so the next fragrance we got here is super crush and once again it's very easy to guess that this is a cologne of manseras instant crush so you will get this perfume in this box white and golden a uh, combination everything else is same and you will find the name of the fragrance here super crush and now let me show you the bottle this bottle is more beautiful and here we go beautiful uh, transparent golden gradient going up and on the top it becomes a little bit opaque and you will get this uh, dusty gold type of finish on the top i hope you can see it in the camera this bottle is so beautiful gorgeous and even the scent is amazing let me spray it on the blotter paper and in this fragrance once again you will get that manseras special candelicious dna which is going to give you that candy kind of vibe and this fragrance is mainly based on three to four things and the most prominent thing here is amber wood with vanilla some saffron you can also get some ginger very light citruses here some florals i can smell jasmine here and uh some musky woody base so an excellent cologne of instant crush and how close is this to the original i can say almost 85% similar uh, with the original dna so this was super crush uh, a cologne of 
Mancera's instant crush and now let's jump to the last fragrance and finally here we have Sidrat Essence and once again not hard to guess that this is a cologne of Mancera's Sidrat Bois or Sidrat Boise whatever you want to say it and once again the presentation is same the only difference is the color and here you will get this white with this turquoise bluish kind of combination here and let me show you the bottle and see the juice color it's so cool it's light greenish and the whole bottle is frosted here once again and now let me tell you how this fragrance actually smells so Sidrat Boa is Mancera's one of the best seller it's very famous uh, a lot of people uh, say that it's very similar to Creed Aventus but for me it's a totally different scent yes you will get some wipes very light wipes which are similar to Creed Aventus but overall uh, Sidrat Boa is totally a different scent and the same thing is going here so here you will get uh, some lemony wipe in the opening uh, Sicilian uh, lemon as per the notes breakdown with little bit of uh, fruitiness uh, as per the notes breakdown it's like black black current uh, but for me it's it's more citrusy mainly you will get citruses here especially this lemon wipe jasmine and then in the base you'll get some leather notes with little bit of musky and a woody base if you will try to compare it with aventus or club de Nuit intense man you are missing that smokiness here you will not get that pineapple accord here you will not get that strong birch note here so how one can say that this is similar to Aventus or Club Dino Intense Man uh, just because of this bergamo lemon kind of opening uh, people uh, compare it with Aventus or uh, Club Dino Intense Man from the house of Irma uh, but totally different scent and how close is this to the original I don't have Mancera's Sidrat Boa with me right now so I cannot do a side by side comparison uh, but I have tested it very properly and recently i have tested it around one one and a half months back and i can say this is uh, a very nice rendition of sidrat boa and once again the only thing you're losing here is the depth and otherwise the dna is very similar i can say 80 to 85 percent similar uh, to the original so this was sidrat essence the last one uh, from the line and now let's talk about some other aspects uh, for example performance for the longevity i can say all these fragrances are very good they are going to give you around seven hours of longevity a few of them are going to last a little bit longer than others but overall they are very good and please keep one thing in your mind these fragrances are very fresh very new they have just uh, came out last week uh, from the factory so in next one to two months i can guarantee you that they will become much more stronger and the longevity will definitely increase so don't worry for the performance still with these new batches i got as i told you around six to seven hours of longevity the projection was around one to one and a half hours which is once again good and now let's talk about the gender so out of these five fragrances uh, three fragrances are unisex for me all these five fragrances are unisex but uh, if we follow uh, mancera's category so instant crush which is super crush here and roses vanilla which is vanilla and roses here uh, these two fragrances are for women as per mancera but for me uh, these two once again are unisex and the other three uh, sidra's essence Oud and Veni and Wild and Tobacco. Uh, they are purely unisex. In fact, uh, Wild and Tobacco is for men. It's uh, more masculine. It's not going to suit uh, on women very well. So this was about the gender and now for the age group. All these fragrances uh, can be used uh, by anyone from youngsters to old age except these two wild and tobacco and oath and veni these two fragrances are going to work well with more mature people so youngsters are not going to like these two very much 
and now let's talk about uh, weather or season so these three fragrances vanilla and roses sidrat essence and a super crush these can be used all year around easily and you can use them in summers also and these two wild and tobacco and oud vanilla uh, these two are going to give you a better experience in winters so two for winters and three for all year around and or i can say uh, you will enjoy these three more in summers the other three and now let's uh, talk about occasions so once again these three fragrances can be used wherever you want almost anywhere uh, they are very versatile and oud and vanilla and wild tobacco once again uh, these fragrances uh, are a little bit uh, more complex they are there is oud and tobacco so these you can use in i can say in clubbing in outdoor in a winter season so in short uh, these two are a little bit less uh, versatile as compared to the other three and now let's talk about the quality so quality here is very good trust me guys paris corner is improving with their every new release and now come to the main point which is the price so all these five fragrances have same price tag these perfumes comes in 100 ml with edp concentrations and the price of these fragrances are around 65 to 70 uae dirhams here in uae and in other countries of the world please check with your local seller or check on your local websites and now i have a good news for my pakistani viewers and the news is that paris corner have launched their official website in pakistan and now you can buy any fragrance from the house of paris corner including all these new releases on their website original products directly from paris corner without any doubt and i'm going to put the link in the description box do visit the website and check it out so this was our review for these five fragrances from the house of paris corner uh, from their emir fragrance line i hope you like this review until the next video take care and bye